Are you planning to take an international flight to San Francisco? And are you wondering how on earth will I get to San Francisco from the airport? Well, today I will be showing you five different transportation options to get you from the airport to San Francisco. Also, make sure you watch till the end of the video because I am going to share with you some bonus tips that will definitely make your life easier at the airport. Let's get started. One way to get to San Francisco from the airport is to contact me and I would love to connect you with different families and churches that would enjoy welcoming international students by picking them up at the airport. Usually this type of airport pickup is free, but I would highly recommend that you treat your host out to a nice dinner just to show your appreciation and your gratitude because they are taking time out of their schedule to pick you up. A second way to get to San Francisco from the airport is to take BART. BART is easy to take from the airport and has eight different stops in San Francisco. The price ranges from $9.10 to $9.65 and really depends on which stop you get off at. To get to downtown San Francisco it takes about 30 minutes. Also BART does not run 24 hours. The last BART leaves the airport to San Francisco before 12 a.m. Where is the BART station at SFO? The BART station is located at the airport's international terminal. So after you exit customs, you will be in the international arrival lobby. From there, turn right and take the escalator up to the second floor and then follow the signs for BART. So if you do get lost, which I know you won't, there are a lot of friendly people around you that you can just go up to and ask for help. So once you're at the BART station, go ahead and purchase your BART ticket at one of the ticket machines. The machines accept cash and most accept major credit and debit cards. I would only recommend taking BART if your home is very close to a BART station and you have internet on your phone to help you find your home. If your home is far away from the BART station and you have a lot of heavy luggage, it might be hard to move your luggage from place to place. Also, if you don't have access to internet on your phone, it might be hard to find your home, especially if this is your first time in San Francisco. A third way to get to San Francisco from the airport is to take a shared ride van. So this transportation option is a van that can seat up to six to seven passengers. The driver drops each passenger off at their destination. To get to downtown San Francisco, it takes around 25 minutes with no traffic. If you are the first person the driver drops off, that is awesome. But if you're one of the last people to be dropped off, it can add possibly 20 to 30 minutes or more to your ride. There are three van companies that the San Francisco airport recommends on their website. Airport Express, American Airporter Shuttle, and Super Shuttle. Here are the prices to take a Super Shuttle from SFO to different locations in San Francisco. You can see that if you want to be dropped off near the Academy of Art University, it only costs around $19. If you want to be dropped off near the University of San Francisco, it would cost a little bit more, it would cost $26. Please note that the prices do not include tip. Where do you take super shuttles at SFO? The shuttles will pick up passengers outside the international arrival terminal. So after you exit customs, you will be in the international arrival lobby. From there, just walk through the doors to get outside the building. Once outside, you want to look for the sign that says shared ride van. The super shuttle company has a customer service agent in the shared van area between 8 a.m. to 12 a.m. seven days a week. This agent can help you reserve a seat in the shuttle. The other van companies will also meet in the shared ride van area. 
A fourth way to get to San Francisco from the airport is to take Uber or Lyft. Uber and Lyft are transportation network companies that are very popular in San Francisco. The companies allow you to request a ride through their phone app. Definitely download the Uber or Lyft app to your phone before you come to San Francisco. At the airport, you will need Wi-Fi or a cellular data plan to be able to use the phone app. The SF airport does have free Wi-Fi, but if you go outside of the building, sometimes the Wi-Fi may not work. So always make sure that you have a good data plan on your cell phone so that you're able to use the phone app to contact Uber or Lyft. Uber and Lyft rides are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The cost of Uber or Lyft depends on many factors, like your destination and also the type of ride service you choose. To drive to downtown San Francisco in an economy car would probably cost around $24 to $28, and this doesn't include tip. Where do you take Uber and Lyft at SFO? Uber and Lyft drivers will usually pick you up outside the International Departure Terminal. So after you exit customs, you will be in the International Arrival Lobby. So you want to make a right and take the escalator up to the second floor. Once you're at the second floor, follow the sign that says Ride App Pickup. Once you're at the pickup area, use your phone to request a ride through the app. A fifth way to get to San Francisco from the airport is to take a taxi. Taking a taxi is usually the most expensive way to get to San Francisco compared to taking Uber, Lyft, a shared ride van, or BART. Even though it's the most expensive way to get to San Francisco, it's actually the easiest way to get to San Francisco. The cost of a taxi depends on your destination in San Francisco. So if you wanted to go to downtown San Francisco taking a taxi, the cost would be around $45. And this price does not include tip. So the price that you will pay will usually increase if the taxi has to sit in traffic. Where do you take a taxi at SFO? Taxis pick up passengers outside the International Arrival Terminal. So after you exit customs, you will be in the International Arrival Lobby. From there, just walk through the doors to get outside the building. Once you're outside the building, look for the sign that says taxi. Once you find the sign, you will be in the taxi pickup area. In the taxi pickup area, there will be a taxi coordinator wearing a yellow vest that can help you and answer your questions. Usually they're there from 7 a.m. to 2.15 a.m. Taxis are available 24 hours, seven days a week. Last but not least, here are the bonus tips that I promised you. These bonus tips will definitely make your life a lot easier at the airport. Bonus tip number one, there are free phones throughout the airport that you can use. You can make free calls to all states in the US except to Hawaii and Alaska. Bonus tip number two, there is free Wi-Fi at the airport. And here's the Wi-Fi network name. So here's a summary of the five different transportation options that you can take to get from SFO to SF. Which transportation option will you take? Will you take the BART or will you take Uber or Lyft? Let me know in the comment section below. Whatever you decide, I wish you safe travels and I hope to see you soon in San Francisco. See you next time.